Hello, welcome. Um, day five of our home football workouts. Welcome back for those that have been taking part throughout this week. Um, it is our last one before obviously the weekend break. Nice high intensity today, got some new ball skills to learn, as well as obviously um, combining some of those skills together again. Um, so basically, uh, what we're going to do today, we're going to do five exercises, four rounds again, 30 seconds each exercise with a 15 second changeover period. Uh, and then you get your minute break, then we're going to round two. Same again, round three and then round four. Um, similar to the last few days, first round will just be our little warm up, introduction into the exercises. Round two, we're setting our targets. And then round three and four, we're trying to beat those targets, challenge them targets and try and beat them. Like I said, it is our last one before we do have a couple of days break over the weekend. So hopefully as many of you can do this one as possible. Um, give it your best shot. What we're gonna do before, we go into our warm up. I'm just going to explain the five exercises to you guys so you can familiarize yourself a little bit with them. Obviously, you did get a little bit of insight like um, yesterday's session, so fingers crossed you have been practicing. But if not, we're just going to go through them now quickly before we do our warm up and then we'll get straight into the workout. So, exercise one today is our outside inside where we're alternating our feet. So, take it nice and slow. You're going to start off with the outside of one of your feet, knock it to the outside, knock it back on the inside of the same foot. And then you're going to change foot and we'll just repeat that process. So we go outside, inside, outside, inside. Just little touches to the side. Just trying to go from side to side. Okay, do that for 30 seconds. Get a 15 second change of period and move on to exercise two. Exercise two today is the V with our outside or our laces to knock it out the other way. So yesterday we've done it with the inside of our foot to knock it out. Today we're going to try and use our laces or the outside of our foot to knock it out. Still creating that V shape, okay? So we can come back, out the other way. Just like that, okay? Exercise three is our triangle. You're gonna start off with your stronger foot. For me, that's my right foot. Um, start off with your foot on top of the ball. You're gonna roll it backwards towards your body, out to the side, then back uh, in front of you, creating that triangle sort of shape. So you're gonna go side, back, forward. Just keeping on the balls of your feet as you're doing it. Exercise four is exactly the same, but you're going to start off with your weaker foot this time, whether it be your right foot or your left foot. Weaker foot, back, side, forward, creating that triangle shape with the ball. And then exercise five is our freestyle again, um, where you guys get to show off everything you've learned throughout this week, all the little touches, all the skills that you already know. Um, try and do as many touches, as many different moves on the ball as possible in that 30 seconds. Okay. Obviously, the aim of these exercises is to improve your confidence on the ball. So please don't feel pressured to increase the intensity. If you are not quite there yet, make sure you're getting that technique right. Uh, you're improving your confidence in doing that specific ball mastery skill. And then once you've got that confidence, then you can try and increase the intensity. So but before we move on to um, the workout itself, we're gonna get ourselves nice and warm. Um, lots of different dynamic stretches like we have been doing throughout the week as well. Um, get our bodies ready for our exercise, ready for our workout, and then we can get going. Okay, so we're going to start off on the spot, um, just jogging on the spot nice and slow, and then we're going to move into our different dynamic stretches. So off we go. Nice little jog on the spot. Got our heel flex again. Just loosening up, shake it off a little bit. And what we're going to do, similar to yesterday, we're going to do little side volleys, just two on each side. And then we're going to go out to the front, straight leg, little touch, yeah, little steps. And then we're going to go under the arm. Once we've done this one, we're going to go straight out to the gates. We're going to open our gate up, two on each again. And then we're going to close the gate. A little bit of a rhythm now, so we're going to go side to side. This one's quite tricky, one of my favourite ones. And we're now just going to kick down the gate in front of us, bend and a kick forward. So it's a bend and a kick forward. Again, two of each. And then we're going to go behind, okay? Just out like that. Make sure you've got a little bit of space. Okay, back on the jog again. Get those arms moving a little bit now. Hopefully we can feel our head breathing getting a little bit heavier. It means our blood's pumping a little bit faster around our body and our muscles are engaging, and we are ready for this workout that we're about to do. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna set the timer, we're gonna go straight into exercise one, straight into round one, 
Um, like I said, 30 seconds of each exercise, 15 second changeover period, one minute break in between. I'll do some shout outs in the break as well. Um, if you do want to shout out next week, um, make sure you're commenting on this post, make sure you're um, commenting on our Facebook page, our Instagram page, all little things like that. Okay, bear with me 10 seconds, just a bit of time ago, and then we can start. Three, two, one, off we go. Just say outside, inside, shifting from right to left, using different parts of your feet, nice and slow. Take your time, get that control of the ball first of all. Little touches, if you want to just do it slow like this, absolutely fine until you've got that technique. And then obviously we can increase the intensity as we've got that technique all right. Keep going for the whole 30 seconds. Well done. Um, exercise two is that v, the V again with the outside of our feet, foot or the uh, laces of our foot. Make sure we're nice and loose. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Again, take your time. It's our first round. Just get used to the exercise itself. Done this exercise two. Good for me. Exercise three is a triangle. Starting off with your stronger foot, rolling it back to your body out to the side, and then forward again, creating a triangle shape. Ready? Let's go. Take it nice and slow. Just get that technique first and foremost. Back, side, forward. Just using that inside of our feet to knock it to the side, inside of our foot to knock it forward. Once you've got the rhythm a little bit, you can increase that intensity a little bit on the balls of your feet. Well done. Um, exercise four is exactly the same um, exercise as exercise three, but starting off with our weaker foot this time. Again, slow it right down, get that technique right, and then increase the intensity as you get a bit more confident. Create that triangle shape with the ball. Well done. Um, exercise four complete, exercise five is our freestyle again. This is a fun one. Many little touches as you can in the 30 seconds. As many little movements as you can. Change the direction of the ball. Using the inside, the outside, laces, scissors, step overs, pulling it back, all these different skills. Ready? Off we go. So pull back and push like we practiced the other day. All these different touches. Our soul taps like we practice, our little dance like we practice. Well done. That is round one complete already, guys. Well done. Hopefully, we'll notice that our bodies are nice and warm now. We are ready for round two, round three, and round four. Get your drinks on board, please. It's really important that you're staying hydrated. Round two is where you're going to set your targets, guys. Okay, so now we're going to count how many we do of each um, exercise and then note it down, get our grown ups to note it down, and then Round three and round four, we can try and beat those targets that we've set ourselves. Um, quick shout out to Liam, one of our goalkeepers at the academy. Hello, Liam. I know you've been working really hard the last four days. Hopefully, you know, you're getting used to it now. Hopefully, you've been practicing lots as well. Fingers crossed, we're going to have a goalkeeping session coming out to you soon. Um, shout out to Louis in our under six as well. I know you've been working really hard, mate. Uh, got about five more seconds, guys, before we get started again. Remember, it's outside and inside, ultimate in our feet. Are we ready? Three to seconds. Two. 
One, let's go. Round two now, just count how many touches you can do on the ball. Still nice, slow intensity to start off with, getting that technique right. Get that technique correct, count your touches, set your targets for yourself. Go for the whole 30 seconds, don't stop, well done. Um, exercise two, the V outside, this is probably our most tricky one today. So do make sure that we are taking our time with it, getting that technique right. Three, two, one, let's go. Remember, count how many you can do. Nice slow pace to start off with. Get that technique right. for the whole time, well done. Exercise three is our triangle, starting off with our stronger foot, foot on top of the ball, rolling it back, inside your foot to the side, inside your foot forward, creating a triangle shape. Again, how many triangles can you make? Let's go. Get that form right first of all. Remember, keep going for the whole 30 seconds. Our legs might get a little bit tired. It's all about pushing through that, persevering, showing the value of resilience as we're doing it, and we're not giving up. We're gonna keep going. Okay, weaker foot now. Again, it's slightly trickier than our stronger foot, but we do need to improve both feet. Ready, three seconds. Let's go. Set that target for yourself for round three and four. Well done. Exercise four complete, exercise five is our freestyle. Remember, as many different movements on the ball, don't need to necessarily be touching the ball for it to be a movement, and you can't add any time with the movements on the ball. Making sure we're using our stronger foot and our weaker foot. Round two complete, guys, halfway there. Obviously with round three and round four now, we're gonna try and increase that intensity. We've set our targets in round two. Round three and four, can we try and beat those targets? 45 more seconds. Get your drinks on board. Make sure you stay nice and hydrated. Quick shout out, uh, Senna and Florence, next door neighbors. Hello, Senna and Florence. A little angel yesterday watching from next door. Uh, thank you for being so quiet. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying this as well. Got about 20 more seconds, guys, of our rest. Get your drinks on board again. Make sure we're ready to try and increase that intensity now. A little bit quicker than round two. Beat those targets that we have been setting ourselves, okay? 10 more seconds. Starting off with the outside and the inside. Try and beat that target. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Remember, if you do lose control, you can just stop it. 
get back into that rhythm again. Well done. Exercise one of round three complete. The V outside, like I said earlier, probably the trickiest one today. Keep that form right, guys, and then we can increase intensity. Once we're a bit more confident doing it, if you are confident, increase that intensity now. We're going to try and go a little bit quicker. Stay on the balls of my feet, rolling it back out the other way. I'm trying to rope my body out, let's go out the other way in the game situation. Exercise three is our triangle. Fingers crossed you're beating those targets that you are setting yourself. Remember, we are increasing our intensity this round, so a little bit quicker. Hopefully you are getting the confidence on the ball. Starting off with your stronger foot. Let's go, increase our intensity now. On the balls of our feet as we're doing it. Remember back, side, side, back, side, side. So when we're rolling it back, it's back with our sole, inside and inside. So knock it side and knock it forward. Make sure we're creating that triangle shape with the ball. Fantastic. Starting off with our weaker foot for exercise four. Again, that triangle shape again, trying to beat the target that we have set. Four. Three. Ready? Let's go. Concentrate on that ball, keep it on the balls of your feet. Fantastic. Exercise four complete. Exercise five now is obviously our freestyle again. Like um, the other exercises, you've set your targets for your freestyle. How many moves can you do on the ball? How many different skills can you do on the ball? Now can you beat that target? Let's go. Ten seconds. Fantastic. Round three complete, guys. Doing really, really well. Only got one more round to do. This last round is obviously the uh, highest intensity. We're trying to give us 100% now. Hopefully, hopefully we are nice and confident now with each exercise that we've been doing. And we can increase that intensity a little bit more to try and get that target that we have set ourselves. Quick shout out to Luca in India. Hello, Luca in India. Hope you're enjoying his workouts. We've got a happy birthday shout out to Charlie in our under nines. Hello Charlie, happy birthday to you mate. Hope you have a lovely day. Enjoy your birthday as much as you can. So we've got 20 more seconds before we go to round four, our last round guys. So we've got one more attempt at each exercise. 30 seconds left of each exercise. Make sure we're giving everything we've got. We're working extremely hard. Five seconds, inside, outside and inside remember. Starting off looking out to the outside, inside and then changing our feet. Remember, if you do lose control, you can just stop it like so and knock it back the other way. That's fine. Keep it nice and controlled. The most important thing, keeping that ball under control as we're doing it, well done. That's exercise one complete. Exercise, my fingers crossed you beat your target, that you did set. Exercise two, the V, the outside of the foot, the inner laces of the foot again. You've got your target, everything we've got now. Increase that intensity, let's go. Making sure you're making that V shape with the ball.
fantastic. Exercise two complete. Um, exercise three is our triangle. Again, you've got your targets. You've set your target in round two. You've tried to beat your target in round three. Whatever your highest score is now, can you try and beat that even more? High intensity. Last one of this one with our stronger foot. Over on the balls of your feet. Concentrate on that ball. Keep it nice and close. Three more seconds. Well done, well done. Really, really good. That's exercise three complete. Exercise four is exactly the same, but with a weaker foot. Last guy on this one as well. Again, you've got your target. Can you try and beat that target that you've set yourself? Ready? Let's go. Fantastic, fantastic, well done. Exercise four is now complete. We've got exercise five now, um, our freestyle. Last guy at this one, and then we're complete for the week, guys. That's our workout complete for the week. We've got a weekend break, so let's make sure we're doing everything we can for these next 30 seconds. 100% intensity. Off we go, lots of little touches, lots of movements with the ball. Try and change that direction of the ball. Try and practice what we've been practicing today and what we've been practicing over the last few days. Keep going, two seconds. Well done, really, really good guys. That is round four complete. Just gonna turn the timer off. Round four complete. Our workout complete. Get your drinks on board again before we do our cool down. Hopefully you are benefiting from these workouts. Hopefully you are learning something. Fingers crossed that uh, you're improving as well. First and foremost, we do want your confidence to improve. So make sure all these different exercises that we have been doing this week, make sure you're getting that technique right first, uh, first and foremost. Get that technique right. Once you've got that technique right, and you're confident, make sure, and then you increase the intensity so you can do it a bit more speed. All right, we're just going to do a cool down, which is just our static stretching. Uh, we've been doing this throughout the week, so we'll just start off with our back. We're just going to go out to the side. Very important that we're cooling down. Have a nice rest over the weekend. If you don't want to rest, we have got a weekend challenge. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to go face your feet facing forward. Okay, back one straight. Front one bit. Um, we have got a weekend challenge this weekend set by Riley in our under nine academy. Um, Riley ma managed 60 keep ups without it touching the ground, um, which is incredible. Um, at just under nines, 60 is remarkable. He then also sent in a video later on of him doing 115, but we'll set the target at 60 for our older players. For our younger players, um, if you want a little target, make sure. That if you want, if you can't just do the keep ups without the bounce, little bounce, one touch, how many can you do with just a, a bounce in between? That could be our target for our younger ones. How many can you do? Get those videos sent in, send them to us. All right, we're just going to pull our leg in here. And swap over. Groins now, so both feet facing forward, and then we're going to change. One foot facing the side, bend the leg that's facing sideways, other foot facing forward, keep that leg straight. Shake it off. Well done guys, really, really good. We've had a fantastic first week. 100 subscribers already. If you haven't yet subscribed, um, please do so. Thank you for those that have subscribed, but if you haven't yet, please like, please subscribe to this channel. Remember, you've got your weekend challenge. Get those videos sent off if you try. Have a nice weekend, guys. See you back on Monday. Hopefully on Monday, 
where we're going to be going, going live again on Monday, 2 p.m. live. Um, so if you can tune in at 2 p.m. for our live stream, that'll be fantastic. Fingers crossed we'll see you on Monday. Have a nice weekend, guys.